and welcome back to my series of conversations with the Phantom X2 and friends. And a true friend of the Phantom X2 is Elliot Kipchoge. I want to say welcome. I'm excited. I never stutter. So you're going to forgive me if I'm not usually myself. Okay. I'm Caroline Mutoko and I'm a friend of the Phantom X2 and friends. So I'm going to start by asking you a question that was actually given to me by the people on Facebook. Huh? Mercy wanted to know, we call you GOAT, we call you living legend, world champion. What does your mother call you? Uh, to say I call you the truth is that I'm still this boy. Really? Um, yes, I don't think my mother understands what uh, great of all time means. <laughs> well, well, yes. No, really? Absolutely, yes. Ule kijanaangu? Yes, yes. Literally? Yes. Okay. I have a very interesting one here from uh, Misimi. Misimi says, is your milk delivery bicycle still alive? Um, it's not alive, but it was not mine. I was hired. And, and then? I was handling by just a transport fee. Uh -huh. yeah. So immediately I left the, the, the job of actually dropping the milk. Then I left the bike also. How long did you do milk delivery business? Uh, I think over six months, close to a year. Okay. Yeah. And then when you decided running is what you're going to do? Yes, I got some um, salary to buy the shoes, buy the, the equipment. Uh -huh. Then I embark on the real job now. Oh, the real job. And yes. milk delivery was not the real job. Okay, so I, I have to ask you about this great phone in a moment. But first, what has been your greatest failure and what did you learn from it? Uh, I think in sport, my greatest failure actually is so. Uh, when I failed to clinch actually the top three in London. And um, I learned that uh, actually, you know, you, you cannot be happy every now and then. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you can you can wake up very early in the morning and it's not your day. So I learned a lot that uh, mm -hmm. uh, actually missing the podium is not actually, uh, 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 it's, it's, it's not suicide. No, it isn't. Yes. It's not the end. Absolutely. Um, but even then, how do you come back from something like that? Because you've trained and trained and trained, and then you're not in the top three. How yes, do you so come back? I go back to the training, uh, to the, actually the drawing board uh -huh. with, with all my my team. Mm -hmm. I have a great team to mm -hmm. discuss, and then uh, I forget what has happened. Okay. I start again fresh. Uh -huh. um, setting the calls and having the right systems actually on the crown mm -hmm. uh, and the fruits actually came in. And, and, and it finally comes through. Yes. However, and I love that you talked about your team, you're very particular, you're very clear about which brands you will work with. And in this case, the Techno Phantom X2 Pro is the first one. Why? I mean, because you, I know you don't say yes to everything and this is probably actually your first mobile telephone. Why Techno? Why Phantom? Uh, Techno actually has been in Kenya for a very long time. Yes. A very long time and you know, it's uh, Techno is like a household name, mm -hmm. especially in the country. Oh. And I feel like I'm close to Techno. Okay. So, and then as, uh, secondly is that it's, it's, it's wonderful because it does a retractable uh, 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 camera. Know. So it's, it's a very good camera. So taking photos actually, uh, this is the generation whereby we, we live around waking up and sleeping by taking the photos. Yes. So the, the Phantom X2 is, 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 is the right phone. I'll come back to what you like most about it, but I'll go to another question. What drives you towards the best? Because you have achieved, you've broken records. Actually, I need to know, did you train this morning? Absolutely, yes. Uh, I, I, I trained for two hours, 16 minutes this morning. That's uh, completing 40 kilometers. But you're human. You're a legend, but you're human. There are days you must wake up and say, ah, Yeah, yeah all, no, the old days actually are equal. Okay. Today I can wake up with a lot of energy. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow I can wake up with actually Zero. the less body and the less mind. But <laughs> okay. I still manage to go out of the door and run and the next 10 minutes I'll be okay. Uh -huh. Pick up a cane and complete the runs. So what keeps you going? What keeps me going is the love of sport and, okay. and the inspiration that I'm stealing to the general public in the whole world. Okay. That's how 
I want to bring change. Mm -hmm. um, that I want to, to make this country and this continent and this world an animal. Mm -hmm. That I've realized that uh, 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 health is my wealth. Okay. Yes. Now, someone called Brian said, if you were not an athlete, what would you be? When I was first asked that, I said, if I was not in media, I'd be a teacher. If you were not an athlete, what would you be? Oh, uh, I think that that fits my IQ, because I've been in sport for, for over for, for 20 years, I'll be oh. celebrating 20 years. Oh, in that first of August of this year, oh, and right. you know, well, well, and I'll, that's all I, you've known. I, I, I always do knuckle step uh, on the sides, uh -huh. because uh, in my mind, I, I put sport in all my two minds in my in my head. So if, if, so if you were not an athlete, you'd be an athlete. You know, it's <laughs> there's a, nothing it's a, else. That's why I'm saying mm -hmm. it beats my, 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 IQ. my IQ because <laughs> I've been living actually for, for 20 years as a sportsman. Wow. And I think that's what helps me to move on. You know, True. I don't have the second option. You don't have an option. Immediately you have the second option, then you can fail. Now that is a yes. fantastic answer. Um, I want to know, the first time you felt this for me, I fell in love with this. And I th think you've heard the story about it. Yes. It's made from recyclable material. Absolutely. What did you think about that? Uh, I think uh, uh, it was wonderful. Yes. Because uh, personally, I have a foundation, and the, the first fact that college foundation deals uh -huh. is, is, is conservation. Okay. And this is eco-friendly. Yes. And I say yes, then we're on the same line. You're on the same. I was not expecting that from you, but I like that. <laughs> okay. I I still these are from uh, Facebook. Huh? Samson wants to know, what would you love to be remembered for, apart from winning marathons and races? What else? Uh, in, I want, in 20 years to come, what would you like us to remember? In 20 years to come, I want to be remembered actually by teaching people how to push limits. Ah. And teaching people to know that limits don't, doesn't exist, mm -hmm. but only exists in their minds. Okay. And secondly is that, uh, I want to make this country a running, a running country. So immediately when, But you can work with it. Okay. Yes. Manipata. Um, no man is immortal. No man. And in every community, there's continuity, there's succession. Are you doing something to ensure Kenya remains a home of champions? You've told me in 20 years you want to be remembered for making, in, in, making us remember that beyond athletics, there are no limits. We should push ourselves. But what are you doing to extend a hand to the next generation of runners? Uh, I am building uh, young people, mm -hmm. uh, both character-wise and in running, uh -huh. that uh, soon I'll be out of the sport and they will be the ones to run. Okay. Uh, so, uh, I'm trying to actually inject them actually with the right education as to how to handle the world and to love running and to actually handle sport actually as a profession. So I think in the next 20 years, we'll have a response for citizens in this country who can actually uh, still take our flag up and high. Up and high. Yes. And finally, is there any other glass ceiling you wish to shatter? I mean, you already did 159. I, I, I was driving, I stopped. My daughter must have been about eight years old. There were five of them in the car and I told them, you watch this moment, you watch this. And there was a moment there. Actually, this is a question that was asked. When did you know? When did you know it was possible? Was it, was, was it on the day or during training? Uh, you know, firstly, I tried 2017, mm -hmm. but I missed by 25 seconds. Then I used the same experience to break a normal world record. Uh -huh. And then one year, two years down the line, mm -hmm. then and the, actually the, the real opportunity came in mm -hmm. and I, I took it, I grabbed the opportunity. It's an opportunity because it is. it's expensive to organize and, and, it's, and even to think human being can run under two hours. It's expensive to think. Okay. And it's expensive to try, to dare to try. Mm -hmm. So I grabbed the opportunity. Mm -hmm. And I trained for six months, uh -huh. and, and, and uh, in, 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 in my blood, actually, I was, uh, I was actually uh, uh, 
uh, I have a feeling that I can, I can do it. Oh, wow. So, yes. So I, I remember as you were approaching the finishing line, you know, you were busy doing this and this and I was, I was like, dude, focus, run. But you knew. Yeah, I knew I, I, it's, it's down. <laughs> okay. Yes. <laughs> okay, wonderful. Anything else you'd love to leave us with? Whether it's about the amazing new uh, Phantom X2 Pro or your career. Uh, final words. Final words mm -hmm. is that uh, for my career has been good, but uh, not all. But uh, I want to to leave for everybody that uh, let us uh, be friendly to our environment. Uh, like the way Phantom X has been made, mm -hmm. and you know, this is our only home. Mm -hmm. We have no other home. Mm -hmm. This planet is our only home, so we have a huge responsibility to take care of it. Absolutely right. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to take a <laughs> selfie with him on our Phantom X2 Pro. See you.